Since our foundation in 1976 as a specialist in manufacturing winches, we consistently strive for performance, safety, durability, and compactness. The Max Pull winch is world class. The Max Pull winch stands by its seven samurai, which is the seven technical capabilities. We will show you the power of a true winch. Here, we have two winches. We will reveal the superiority of the Max Pull winch by comparing it with two other winches. Comparison Test Part 1 Body Design Take a look at this winch. As you can see, it leaves the steel sheet cut and is squarish in nature. On the other hand, this Max Pull winch, which is developed based on ergonomics. As you can see, note that the round form that is used for many stylish and smart curved surfaces are present. The user-friendly and congruent body design is considered to be the kind of winch for people working in a variety of harsh environments. Comparison Test Part 2 Durability in terms of durability and strength, this winch has a simple structure, punched from steel plate and only embodied with a drum. The Max Pull winch's main body is strengthened through careful selection of materials and advanced design technology. In particular, for the portion subject to intensive loading, a rib is attached to the other part of the main body through precision press processing, as well as a stay bolt. For those winches which are made by other companies, the frame will open in the direction in which the load is applied. And the longer the winch is used, the sooner the drum will fly off. The Max Pull winch utilizes a stay bolt, preventing the frame from opening and further increasing its strength. Comparison Test Part 3 Winch Drum Next is the winch drum. This winch drum has a PCD of 20 millimeters. As the wire rope is wrapped so small and tightly, it places a burden on the wire rope, reducing its durability and dangerously shortening the lifespan of the wire rope. On the other hand, the Max Pull Winch Drum has a PCD of 60.5 millimeters to 89.1 millimeters. And since the wire rope is wrapped loosely, there is less burden on the wire rope and its lifespan is extended. Comparison Test Part 4 Brake System this winch brake system is manually operated with each pawl moved one by one, and it is referred as the pawl brake method. Therefore, if the operator forgets to apply the pawl and lets go of the handle, there is a dire risk of the suspended load falling. The Max Pull winch adopts the mechanical brake system, which utilizes loads through original ideas. Therefore, excessive operations are unnecessary, and even if the hand releases the handle, the brake is applied automatically, making it reliably work efficient with no possibility of the suspended load falling. Please take a look at this experiment. Competitors' winches need to apply the pawl brakes carefully using both hands when desiring to make a stop in the middle of an upward haul. On the other hand, with the Max Pull winch, as soon as handle operations have ceased, the brake is automatically applied giving a sense of respite and work can be conducted with peace of mind. Comparison Test Part 5 Wire Rope Anchoring Method With safety mostly called into question regarding winches and wire rope anchoring methods, 
Winches such as these risk the wire rope slipping out due to the simple pinching mechanism incorporated as the anchoring method. In consideration of safety, the Max Pull winch adopts a double locking mechanism, that is, the extra maintenance winding system, which leaves at least three wraps without fail, and the wire anchoring plate system, which firmly anchors the drum and the wire. As a result, a high level of safety is ensured as the wire rope won't slip out. The analogy is that in a similar manner, if a string is pulled, it becomes more difficult for the string to slip out if it is wound firmly around the hand, when compared to a hand that simply holds the string. Comparison Test Part 6 – Gear Please take a look at the gear of this winch. Punched from a steel plate, the material of the gear is thin, rendering it sensitive to impact and abrasion. And as it is exposed to the outside, it is susceptible to rain and dust, and then rusting soon after. Furthermore, they have the potential for dangerous accidents involving fingers and other parts of the body. On the other hand, the material of the Max Pull winch gear is cut from chromium molybdenum steel. The gear surface is carburized and quenched, and it is strong against impact and abrasion. The carburized layer densifies the gear surface at 0.7 millimeters, hardening the tooth alignment while the central part utilizes its resolute characteristics to both resist abrasion and withstand instantaneous impact force. Furthermore, they have been wrought by a blacksmith, and the Japanese swords are both supple and outstandingly incisive. What's more, the gear is completely stored in the gear case through precision press processing and not exposed outside at all. Accordingly, rainwater and dust cannot easily penetrate, preventing outbreak of rust and entanglement accidents. The world perceives this product as being highly reliable. Comparison Test Part 7 Bearing When looking at the structure of the bearing, which is critical in a winch, the winch here is simply a shaft passing through the hole directly. The rotation then slows down from rust and abnormal noises occur through wear, leading to a possible sense of insecurity with operators. Ball bearings from all the leading manufacturers are utilized for all bearings on rotating parts, such as the Max Pull winch gear, shaft, etc. Therefore, the rotation is light and smooth without standing resistance against wear. Ergonomic, strong and durable, wire rope extended life reliable work efficiency, high safety, high reliability, smooth. The world stands by the manual winch of Maxpole. The Seven Samurai can be relied upon to protect your business. The one thing we can say, gravity is our only rival. The Max Pole winch is world class.